We hope that High Clear Australia will continue to grow and flourish, um, not just with proven um, horses bought over here coming down to Australia, but also through some really lovely yearlings um, that um, you know, we'll be buying to add to that team. I think if you've got the proven stayer, the proven horses, and then the buzz that we all love in racing of the unknown quantity, the, the yearling that may turn out to be the next champion, then we're adding a base of those as well. There are so many things, but effectively we're really looking for movement and confirmation. Um, uh, I mean, John Warren is incredibly picky about how a horse should look and how a horse should move. I'd like to think that High Clear Australia will give you a fantastic opportunity, especially with these proven staying horses, to compete um, you know, in, in those prize money races like the Melbourne Cup and many others that are in, worth a fortune at the end of the day. We, I like the proven horse aspect. I think that is something that you know, we know what we're buying here. We know the calibre of horse and we've seen in the past with our track record, so many of these horses go on and improve um, for their training in Australia. Also with, with Highclear, ever since I started it, not to, it doesn't matter whether it was Highclear Australia or Highclear UK or Highclear anywhere, it's all about looking after our share owners. Um, we treat each individual share owner um, as though they own the horse outright themselves. It's this very personal service which is absolutely critical to how we, we operate. My aspiration for High Clear Owners is absolutely to be competing um, in some of these great races, um, great festival meetings of the world. I've never been to an international racing event that had the same buzz and excitement and, and, um, and build up and, and, and I suppose the, across the whole nation, I mean, learning then that it was the race that stops the nation, um, until, you, until you see it for the first time, witness for the first time, you think, crikey, this is the envy of every racing jurisdiction in the world. Again, taking a horse and taking a horse with high clear owners there and having some Australians who were involved in distinction really gave me the, the confidence, I think, to, I want to add to this. Um, I want to bring more horses down here and initially it was very much bringing them from the northern hemisphere down to the southern hemisphere. Um, horses like Opinion that Chris Waller trained for us. Um, he again was a very good horse here winning the Duke of Edinburgh for Sir Michael Stout and the Highclere Syndicate but he also ticked all the boxes to be the right horse to take down to the Melbourne Cup. It then became apparent that bringing proven staying horses from here down to Australia and building a base in Australia of Australian owners had to be the way forward. Um, so it's, uh, it's grown from that. Libran was another horse we imported. He actually was fourth in the Duke of Edinburgh here, went over to Chris Waller um, down under and my goodness, you know, earned over two million dollars, ran in the Melbourne Cup, um, won the Schweppes, the Chairman's Handicap, um, second in the Sydney Cup, I mean, you know, really, really exciting racehorse. And, and those horses, um, you know, with the syndicate, you know, it's a wonderful bond. And really exciting actually having a, a mix of Australian and UK owners, because when, you know, when you do get a good one and everyone joins up together, there's fantastic banter. So there was him and, of course, a current star of the moment, Great House, who um, won the Lexus on the Australia Derby Day on the Saturday, um, which was a win in your in for the Melbourne Cup. We want to be your personal racing manager. It's not just about getting emails and recorded messages and the rest of it. It is absolutely about hearing from us. And it's about a social side to it, which is, we know, is critical to owning racehorses. We're looking to use the best trainers. Um, trainers who understand what we're trying to do, so they've got to be very good communicators themselves. Um, but that's also part of the fun of it, I think, for share owners to get immersed in a, uh, owning a horse, a part of a horse that is trained by a Chris Waller, um, a Kieran Maher, David Eustace, um, and so on and so forth, Bjorn Baker and, and, and the other trainers, um, Richard Friedman, that we use. Yeah, we've just, um, Matty Kamani is a new addition to our team, who obviously I've known for many, many years, and his father, Luca. Um, and we're, yeah, we're always looking to uh, expand our trainer base. But the rules must be the same as here. It's using the best and people who understand what Highclere is all about.